What's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today we're taking a look at something from MSI. We have their new V-Core GK30 Combo Kit. It's a keyboard and mouse bundle and yeah, let's have a quick look. So I've not actually worked with MSI for a little while. They've actually taken over um, some new PR guys and they contacted me and said, we've got a new combo coming out, would you like to take a look? And I said, not a problem. I've taken a look at a keyboard and mouse from MSI in the past and I really liked that. This is a budget orientated option from them, so let's see what we get. Now, the boxing is quite basic. This is a budget option and basically in the box you get a keyboard and a mouse. About what you expect for a keyboard and mouse combo. Now, I couldn't actually find anything on the market in the UK for this just yet when it came to pricing, but did a bit of research and it is $70 over in the States. It's probably gonna be about the same price here in the UK, so probably about 70 quid. So the GK30, what is it? Well, basically we have got a full 104 key keyboard, which is their GK30, and then we do have their Clutch GM11 mouse. So it's two standard products from their line. You save a little bit of money by buying it as a combo. Now we will start off with the mouse. The mouse, like I said, is the Clutch GM11. Okay, It does use a uh, PixArt optical sensor. It's just a relatively small, it is quite small mouse. Nothing majorly fancy about it. It does have RGB, has a DPI button on the top, a scroll wheel that also clicks left and right, backwards and forwards. Now one thing that impressed me about this lot is it's RGB it's budget, but it's software controlled RGB. It does use MSI's standard Mystic Light, so you can sync this up with everything else that if you've got other MSI kit, it can all be synced up together, which was a good thing. I liked to see that because there is nothing worse than having different bits of software for every single bit of kit. It uses MSI's standard Mystic Light, and yet, yeah, as a first thing, that impressed me. So the, the mouse itself, nothing majorly special. Personally, a little bit on the small side. I like a bigger mouse. I've also got a GM70 over there, which is like one of their top spec mice, and it's like a lot bigger. But it is a nice little mouse. It does have some nice and sort of like anti-slip, uh, sort of non-slip, not non-slip, non-stick um, would be the best way to describe them. Non-stick pads on the bottom. They do do the job. It does glide nicely. It is quite a light mouse. It is 80, the, the, the actual mouse itself is 89 grams. So yeah, it's on the lighter side of things. It's not a heavy mouse by any means, but it's not the lightest, but it is a budget option. It does come with six foot of cabling. Okay, it is just a standard sort of rubber cable. It's quite a nice flexible rubber though. It's not a, it doesn't feel cheap. Although it's rubber, it doesn't feel cheap and I would prefer this over some nasty braiding because I have seen some with some really nasty braiding recently. But no, little rubber cable, good length. No real complaints with the mouse so far. I did do a load of gaming with it. Um, I'm not an amazing gamer, I'm clicking loads of stuff on the computer, but hey. Um, and I didn't have any problems with it. It just works. It's a thousand hertz polling rate. You may have to manually set that in Windows yourself. And yeah, it worked quite nicely. It's a little bit small for my liking. Like you say, I kind of, cover the whole thing and lose the mouse a little bit. But the, the buttons were in the right place. I didn't have any problems with misclicking or anything like that. Overall, quite nice. The RGB on it is only subtle. We've just got a beam around the bottom here and the MSI Dragon. Yeah, nothing to really complain about. Like I said, stick MSI Mystic Light on your computer and you can control all of that. Onto the keyboard. Now this is a, it is a membrane keyboard. The best way to describe it is a Memchanical, I think I've heard it called before. It's a mecha membrane, i.e. it's a membrane switch, but it feels a bit like a tactile, bumpy, mechanical, but it's not. But what I was really impressed with, well, we'll get to what I was really impressed with later on anyway. It is standard 104 key keyboard. Didn't do that earlier clicks a little bit when you twist it, but that's because there's a, there's a two part design. This little piece here is a separate piece, um, but it is quite rigid. There's no flexing of the deck or anything really, not unless you press down really hard. Overall, solid build. If you flip it over, you do have a couple of lifty up feet. It's got plenty of rubber padding to stop it from sliding around on your desk. 
it is quite slim, it doesn't stick up too high or anything. Little inbuilt wrist rest, RGB strip across it and underglow. No perky or anything like that, just an underglow underneath. Overall, quite nice. Font on it isn't obnoxious or anything like that. I quite liked it. Now this one, the RGB is controlled in one of two ways. MSI's Mystic Light as per the mouse for sync or you can actually keyboard control it, um, set colors, things like that, uh, speeds, you know, we can go really, really fast, and things like that. It can be done from the keyboard. My recommendation, stick the software on there. Again, as per the mouse, a six foot, slightly thicker this time, rubber cable. Again, as I mentioned earlier, I'd rather see a good quality rubber cable than a cheap braided one. Comes out in the middle, no routing options, it only comes out in the middle. I must admit, with keyboards, I do actually like to see a detachable cable that you can route a few different ways. One little niggle. But overall, all nice. We do have at the top here our number lock, scroll lock and caps lock indicators. Quite subtle, not in your face or anything like that. You see the font. Quite nice font. It's not a gamer gamer shouty shouty font or anything like that. But what I liked about these is now I've tested a few fake membrane me uh, mechanical keyboards recently and they all suffered with the same sort of thing it was keyboard key wobble because they didn't have decent stems on them but if you pull one of these keycaps off they're cherry mx stems you could technically replace these with other cherry keys should you you will end up spending more on a set of keycaps than the keyboard cost but it does have cherry stems with the box around so they are boxed stemmed ones and that just means that they don't there we go they don't just wiggle around or anything. And although they aren't me uh, mechanical switches, they have a nice feel to them. Slightly spongy, but not as bad. I tested a really cheap thermal take a couple of weeks ago. That was really meh. This, okay, it is a lot more money. It's 70 quid, not 20 quid. But this has got, this I wouldn't say, or oh, it's temporary stopgap. No, this has got a nice feel to it. You can definitely do some gaming, keep this for a while. And that is really about it for this keyboard. There's not a massive amount to say about keyboards and mice. I've always said the same thing, they are personal and my best recommendation is to try and go to a store and have a play. And funnily enough, I was talking with the guys at MSI yesterday and this is actually going to be available to pick up in the UK in game. They've just done a big push with them. I think they've got lots coming towards the end of this year for this combo. So it'd be interesting to see what they do. From what I've done with playing around with it, it's a great keyboard and mouse combo. A little bit pricey, but then it is it's well built. Okay, it's not a real mechanical, but there's not many real mechanical keyboards from reputable brands at even remotely close to this um, price. The keyboard on its own is about £55 normally. The mouse is about 25 so you're saving yourself about a tenner as a combo. I think the, the standout for me is the, the keyboard is very good. It's not me mechanical, but it is still very good. The fact it uses Mystic Light on a budget keyboard, I quite like. I, button altering does the job, but it's not amazing. The ability to plug it into Mystic Light and set what you want, I really like that. The mouse personal preference it's a bit on the small side there's nothing actually wrong with the mouse it is a very nice mouse but be warned it is a little bit small but there we go so that is the gk30 combo i quite like it do i have any recommendations for msi on it i think the only real one is a movable cable i would like to see a mouse but a mouse mat thrown in maybe just to so that at 70 quid up it would be nice to have an msi branded soft cloth mouse mat thrown in something like that maybe but like i did say they do have lots coming towards the end of the year for this but overall it's a nice 104 key keyboard it's got everything you'd expect from a keyboard really it's got sort of like n key rollover all the things like that it's got your controllable rgb lighting it's got a nice feel it's not loud or anything like that i'm going to give this bundle a big thumbs up now, normally I'd say I'm going to stick a link as to where you can buy one down below. Unfortunately, this time I'm not going to be able to do that because I don't think anywhere in the UK has actually got stock yet. But should that change, I will throw one down below for you all. So there we go, guys. That is about it for today. The MSI Vigor GK30 combo. 
It's a 70 pound keyboard and mouse combo. I really liked it. Mouse is a little bit small. Keyboard, great. Personal preference on the mouse. But as always, I always say try and go to a shop and actually have a button bash. Just allows you to make your own personal decisions. Keyboards, mice, very, very personal. What I love, you might hate. What you hate, I might love. So there we go, guys. That is about it for today. Sorry there was no video last week. Unfortunately, I had family down and didn't have a chance to get a video made. So that's about it for today. As always, if you want to see more of me, click the little subscribe button. Click that notification bell. I am normally here every Saturday, without exception normally. But there we go. So there we go, guys. Thank you very much, and bye for now.